Okay, welcome guys. Uh, now in, in this lesson, talk about us, uh, um, uh, electrolysis. So we looked at part one and uh, also part number two, where part one we talked on of uh, mainly the fact uh, that electrolysis is as well as uh, the issues that are involved paningepani electrolysis. And then on part number two, we were talking about electrolysis of our binary compounds. We were talking about my binary compounds that are my, 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 my molten compounds, or they are just basically my ionic compounds that have been uh, heated such that they become molten. And kwa molten kwa aita, do kwa cheta kuti pa kwanse kuta conduction of electricity. And therefore, electrolysis here, do you know kwanse kuti iti se? Itike. Now, uh, before we start the lesson, let's just pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We pray, Father, that you open the eyes of our understanding that you uh, make us to understand each and everything that we are about to learn, that your Holy Spirit inspires us, it gives us motive, and it gives us a drive. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, so we have uh, the electrolysis uh, of uh, solution. So one thing that you have to understand before starting anything is uh, to understand the term solution itself. So the term solution itself... Uh, this word solution uh it's uh it's it, it means that a substance has been dissolved in water right so when we have a solution we have uh both uh we have both right uh the substance so we have the substance also plus what water so as you can see if we have the substance and water it means that uh we are going to be talking about the ions that are present within the substance and also the ions that are present present within the water right water edu it has uh two ions that are specifically uh um that we get from it pakaitka process here in on the um uh dissociation of water we find that water edu h2o uh it dissociates to give us um the OH ions as well as the H plus ions. So we always have to know that water do gives us uh, those things, right? So substance here do each other by its ions. Let's say for example we had maybe sodium chloride, then sodium chloride here do each other the sodium ion as well as the 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 chlorine ion. And there is now additional of uh, water ions which are the the OH ion as well as the, um, the 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 H plus ion. So a solution is a mixture of two types of electrolytes. So cash cut ion and anion from the dissolved what substance as well as the OH and the the H plus ion from the water. So as I said said earlier on, that's that, that's just the thing that you have to to take note of, right? So when an ionic compound XY dissolves in water, it forms a XY solution, right? And then within the, this XY solution, we have um, our, our, our OH. The water is dissolved to form the OH as well as the H, right? So here we have the the OH um, going to... Here we have... Remember, this one is our anode, right? Where we have positive and then... This one is our cathode, where we have the negative, right? So the OH ion is a negative ion. It goes to the anode, as well as the Y ion that was uh, part of uh, the, 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 the compound, the ionic compound here, as shown here. It goes also to the anode, as well. The H plus ion, as well as the X, uh, X plus ion, they go to the anode. But when they go to the anode and to the cathode, these are uh, something that's going to happen there. We would have to choose which one is going to be the one that uh, gets to be deposited at the, uh, the respective electrodes. So let's look. So the table below shows some examples. Let's just uh, clarify on that one. Um, it shows examples. Uh, let's say, for example, we have a dilute uh, hydrochloric sol chloric, uh, solution. You know, dissolve uh, the H HCl, H plus and HCl, 
as well as uh, the water it will give us the h plus iron as well as what the um, oh minus then we have concentrated uh, sodium chloride it would also give us the so the sodium ion as well as uh, the chlorine ion so I, I have to talk about something before we, we, we look at any any other thing right there is a difference um, when, when, when we have a uh, dilute solution as well as concentrated solution so um, I, I want you could to use batteries like that is on this come to much more to drink right you know drink it our call supermarket right that's what we can call concentrated drink right so we have the concentrated drink it's more sweet and then we have a diluted drink that's the drink that you put on your table right then or dear then over what dilute right that's the one that you take in right so that's just the difference so the differences in the concentrations it's not specifically the ions themselves but then it's the difference within the concentration so you find out um, it, 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 that 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 aspect will also even affect when uh, we look at uh, the discharge of ions pani pani my respective uh, electrodes in also we have um, the aqueous aqueous copper to sulfate solution it just means that uh, it is in water or it is a solution right then we have the copper copper uh, copper ion as well as the sulfate ion and we also have the the water ions right so they are um they are more cash cut ions and anions in the solution then select selective discharge or selective discharge becomes something that we have to apply such that we can know kuti apa electrode anode pacha ngepanichi as well as per electrode uh, cathode pacha ngepanichi so the selectively discharged ions um the selectively discharged ions mainly are affected by the following factors that is number one uh cut ions for cut ions is the position of their uh of, of 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 themselves within the reactivity series right and also for ions for anions it is also affected by the factors of number one the position in the electrochemical series if that is for dilute dilute solutions and then if uh, their concentrated uh, concentration they are concentrated that's uh, for the concentration of the solution the concentration of the solution with the one that affects the one that will get to be selected is that okay so let's look at the factors of affecting uh, selectively uh, discharge of ions and then um, the first one is the reactivity series so reactivity series we are talking about the cut ions the ones that will go to the cathode so these are the positive ions so the positive ions are affected by the reactivity series most of them you find that they are metals right then they are affected by that so the lower uh, the position of uh, the cut iron of a metal in the reactivity series the more preference uh, for the that cut iron to be selectively discharged so as you can see from um, the this this diagram that I have it is it is much easy to discharge copper than it is uh, to discharge zinc because the ease of discharge is, 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 is increasing as we go down. So the one in a lower position, as, as they have said, the one with the lower position is the one that will be selectively discharged better than the one in a, in a, 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 a higher position within the reactivity series. So the reactivity series here, do it's, um, we have potassium, uh, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron lead hydrogen copper as well as silver so these ones these ones are the ones that are mainly used they're, they're the ones that are mainly used in other reactivity series you can see um pani pani is measure a wonder wonder but for 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 our study in uh, in electrochemistry these are the only ones that uh, we mainly look at so let's go to the ease of discharge of the the anions the anions are the ones that go to the anode so the anions they'll be negatively charged right so the negatively charged ones they are 
uh, mainly the ones that are not um, the metals, right? So remember, the metals it's, are being affected by the reactivity series, and then these ones are the non-metals, right? The non-metals are the ones that are going to be um, affected by the electrochemical series. So there are two things that affect, right? It's in the electrochemical series that will affect as well as the concentration effect. So let me just start by the concentration effect, though Panapavisa the electrochemical series as the first. It's, it suggests the fact that uh, the more concentrated ions, right, the more concentrated ions will be selectively discharged. So let's say, for example, we have uh, concentrated sodium chloride, right? So the chlorine will be the one that's, that will be the negatively charged ion that will go to the um, anode. So chlorine will be the one that will be discharged. And um, though at the negative, uh, at, 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 at the, at the, at the, at the positive electrode, which is the anode, to know now, okay, let me just do this. So at the positive, right, that's the anode, right? To know now, it's a chlorine, because it, this one is a concentrated solution, right? Treating a chlorine to over data OH minus, right? So between the two of them, right, can I account the concentrated sodium chloride, right? Concentrated. So the concentrated part would be the one that would be selected. So the one that would be selected here in a gary, the chlorinated. So the chlorinated will be deposited, right? So we find uh, that um, chlorinated, the one that will be deposited, the Cl minus, will gain an electron, and then it becomes what? It becomes uh, chlorine gas, right? Becomes chlorine gas, and then we would observe the color for chlorine, which is greenish, yellowish, right? Color that will be surrounding the the anode. So, per concentration effect, look at Vataragutichia about solution yao. Solution yao kana Vataraguti, it's a concentrated solution. Then, therefore, uh, the one that is uh, concentrated will be the one that is deposited at the anode. And uh, let's look at the electrochemical series. So this is one is the electrochemical series. I don't know how you get it, but um, as a student, right, you can devise your own way to, 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 to look at, at, at the things, right? Saka, uh, some other guys uh, that I would also try to tell you, when you want to know about this one, it's what SNC, it's SNC bio. So SNC bio, will be the one that will tell you that uh, it's the sulfate ion, the nitrate ion, then the chlorine ion, then we go to the bromium, bromine ion, the iodine ion, the iodide ion, sorry, then we also have the hydroxide ion. So, there's no good depend on which you would like use which, right? Then, um, so for dilute solutions, the lower position of an anion in an electrochemical series, the more the preference it is also given, just like Okokotachi talk. So if it is lower, it is deposited more. It is as more preference, right? So if we have a solution, for example, we have a dilute solution. So I want to compare with this one, the, the one that we did. Um, if we had a dilute solution of what, of uh, if we had possibly we have dilute sodium, Chloride, right. So dilute sodium chloride from it will obtain um, ions that will go to the to the anode, as well as ions that will go to the cathode. So on the ions that will go to the um, okay the dilute part that's water, right. So for water, the one that will go to the anode is what OH. Sorry, um, let me just get rid of this one. Then that's OH minus, and then um cathode kedu kuna H plus, right? That's for water. Then we break down uh, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, the sodium ion, it will go to the to the cathode, right? As well as um, the um, chlorine ion, it will go to the anode. So now here we are not concentrating on the the, the the cathode part right because we we want to look at this one we we don't mind about it we want to look at the anode because in the whole selective discharge of what of 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 anions do I try to say right so at the anode you find there would be a hydroxide as well as what the chlorine ion so 
the keyword or the key phrase is dilute, right? So if it is dilute, then we would use the electrochemical series. So therefore, between the two of them, right, we have um, OH and we have we have chlorine, right? Tine OH ne chlorine do the ease of discharge is as we go. So which means that this one will be the one that will get discharged, right? So which means that at the anode would have a reaction here, and that reaction is that the OH ion would have to gain uh, electrons, right? It would gain electrons, uh, and then um, and then form uh, the the respective uh, things that will be formed there. We'll look at the equation later on within the the the, the, the lesson. And then um, going on further. We just want to look at the electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride, right? So for concentrated sodium chloride, the aspect is issue on concentration, right? So concentrated sodium chloride, we have uh, the, the concentrated part being the ones that will be taken into consideration for the anode. As well, we look at the reactivity series for the other two. So we have... Um, at the anode yedu, tine CL nechi ne OH. But then the CL are selectively discharged. Why? Because they are more concentrated. And then we have our half equation whereby the chlorine is uh, is, is is getting to become a what? Uh, a, a chlorine gas plus uh, the electrons. So then um, we also have um, the other one that's... Uh, we also have the other one that's... Uh, Okay, there's something that I just want to correct uh, that I think I, I would have uh, mentioned uh, in a wrong way. Panapa, I, I had said, uh, sorry for that, since, since the morning, sorry for that. Uh, there's something that I mentioned here when I, when I was talking about chlorine, right, right, and chlorine being discharged at, 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 at the anode, right? So it's chlorine actually losing electrons at the anode and then um, it becomes what chlorine gas as well as the electrons that it would have to release is that okay and then this one is just balanced and then it becomes two two and then that's true so that's a point of correction right that's a point of correction and uh, let's move forward let's move forward uh, we also have uh, at the anode at the, at the cathode I mean Sakapa cathode pedu uh we have my ions that are present, that is uh the hydrogen ion as well as the sodium ion. So because hydrogen is uh, uh lower than uh sodium in the reactivity series, it is dis discharged more. So we have um hydrogen ions being the one that are discharged. So the hydrogen gains electrons because the cathode is electron rich, right? Always remember that. And the anode is electron deficient, so it will take away electrons from 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 an anion. Then we'd have to form uh, this right. So we combine the two half equations, and then we come up with uh, an over equation. I think I, I think I taught you on that one on the over equation. So I don't think there's a problem there. And then here we have things that we have to look at. So in the electro electrolysis of our concentrated uh, sodium chloride solution, we have the ratio of uh, Cl as well as uh, the H2 being collected as the ratio is 1 is to 1, right? And as you can see here, from the reacting ratio, which is uh, from the, where we have 2 as to 2 as to 2 as to 1 as to 1. So the ratio for here for the gases, right, it would be 1 as to 1. That would be the ratio which would be respective even for the molar ratio. So the solution gradually becomes alkaline during, to, during electrolysis because the sodium and uh, OH ions are left within the solution. So these ones, the sodium and, uh, and, and, and the OH ions that are left within the solution, are the ones that uh, form this one, which is sodium hydroxide, which is alkaline, or it has a pH, which is above 7. Then the presence of the alkaline solution can be detected by using a universal indicator, which turns into a, pep, uh, into a violet color uh, when added uh, to the electrolyzed solution. So it will just show us that um, solution here, 
the sodium hydroxide is just basically alkaline. When we look at electrolysis of uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid, so concentrated hydrochloric acid, the same thing uh, happens, and you go through the north, through the north, through the north, through the north, and then you would see that the same thing that we were talking about in the previous is the one that happens. So um, we also then have to go to the electrolysis of a dilute solution, uh, uh, which is uh, the dilute sodium uh, chloride. So dilute sodium chloride now it's quite different because dilute sodium chloride here do it's now a, a dilute solution. Unlike the other one that we are doing, we're doing the concentrated solution. Now we are looking at it. It's it's dilute solution, right? So dilute solution it therefore means that we would have the selective discharge of um, anions uh, having uh, the, the 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 other part where we look at the electrochemical series, right? So now we have um, sodium chloride here giving us uh, the respective ions. So at the anode we have the 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 chlorine as well as the hydroxide ions, but rather per concentrated period, the chlorine was being selected because it was concentrated uh, sodium chloride, right? Then upper pataku select um, the OH because the OH here do is the one with the lower position. The OH minus ion is the one with the lower position in the electrochemical series. So that's the one that is selected. And as I have told you earlier on, um, this one, this part, right, is um, the OH minus would then have to lose electrons, right? So it is losing electrons at the, at the anode because the anode is positively charged, right? So you, there's a point of correction. Now that I, there's something that I said earlier on where we were talking about gaining electrons and then that, that was wrong. Do, do this one right. Do this one right. It's, so it's just a, a, a slip of something. Then, Panapa, um, so the, 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 the OH here, it loses and then it forms the respective things that are is water, oxygen, as well as what? As well as electrons, right? Then after you have balanced the equation, you are able to see how many electrons are needed because it, it, it after balancing, like uh, let's say for example, you have uh, OH minus, and then it gives you uh, H2O plus oxygen, right? And then you want to balance this equation. So here we have um, we have. Uh, here we have uh, my oxygen edu. They need to be a, a number. They are, um, this side it's one and plus two it becomes three. So we have to make them an an a, an even number. So we have two here, and then they become four. And then after becoming four, we need uh, them also to be for the side. And then now that form my oxygen, or right or form my hydrogen, kuno kuno form my hydrogen, form my oxygen, then it becomes balanced. But because now we have uh, this OH ions edu, my OH ions edu, they are the ones that are releasing electrons. So if OH ion, if it releases an electron, in a gear, this is one electron. So we need to add here four electrons that will be released by the by this, and therefore we have this equation. So next time you want to look at the equation, just just know that the OH ion would give you uh, H2O as well as O2, and then you just balance the equation. Then after that, uh, at the cathode, we also have um, sodium and hydrogen, and hydrogen is lower in the reactivity series, so it will be the one that is selected, and then after it becomes selected, we have our, 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 our half equation like this. And then you have to combine the two equations as I had uh, told you in, in the previous uh, video that I did. After combining the two, and I told you the key essential thing in combining these two um, is um, looking at the aspect of the number of electrons that are there, right? So as you can uh, probably see from, uh, let's see, I have another one. Okay, so you can see here we have two electrons and here we have four electrons. So if we have four electrons here, we have two electrons here, which means that we have to multiply all the, the, the equation for this one by two. 
So we have this one multiplied by two for everything, such that we can uh, we can uh, get um, we can get to get uh, two. We can get to get sorry four h plus that is be be in aqueous then plus four electrons then plus two h two. And then after that, we then make we did this equation. We add it to this equation, and then therefore after that we find out the overall equation. You do, you can get pan up. And the reacting ratios, uh, or the ratios for the gases, I told you earlier on. You look at the overall equation. After the overall equation, you look. You see here we have two s two, s two one. So we have the two s to one uh, ratio. Then in, in the electrolysis of dilute uh, uh, sodium chloride, water molecule, uh, molecules are being electrolyzed, right? So um, hence, the electrolysis of dilute um, sodium chloride solution is known as the electrolysis of water. Why? Because water is being broken down. Water is the one that is participating within the, the electrolysis. Is that okay? So... <clears throat> As you can see, we have the OH from water as well as the what the H from water. So water is the one that is just participating within the electrolysis, and then the 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 the, the we have uh, the ionic compound being just present, and it is present as spectator ions. So the solution eventually becomes concentrated sodium chloride. So the more we are electrolyzing water. It means that we are losing the water. So the more we are losing the water, because the water is being lost, your vata she, your vata discharged as what, as oxygen, and the one the other one is discharged as hydrogen, right? So we find that the water is Therefore, after a couple of time, we find that the solution now becomes concentrated, right? So we use our graphite or carbon electrodes. And these ones that we use, the graphite electrodes, they need to be continuously replaced, right? Because as there is an accumulation of oxygen, oxygen is able to react with um, graphite or carbon such that it can produce carbon dioxide. So in common exam questions, they, they ask you why are carbon electrodes used or graphite electrodes used? Sorry, not, not why are they used, like why are they constantly needed to be replaced, right? And the reason why they constantly need, needed to be replaced is the fact that they react and then they form carbon dioxide. So which means they...